Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big U.S. tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 7th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where you get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service and also our live trades. So the link is down below. You're welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the yeah, S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied higher to the basically all time highs. So at this point, we are trading at 3690. And I think that we're going to 3700 before we are going to find any kinds of resistance here. So I do expect a pullback in this market uh, next week, sometimes next week. And the, the target or uh, the pullback is just a minor pullback. It's only back uh, uh, to 3,600. That is what I'm expecting um, to happen in this market. So pullback towards the 3,600. That is the previous highs over here and also where we have the 20 exponential moving average. These technical indicators are starting to look, well, exhausted. Uh, the stochastic is flat, CCI is flat. We are top of the Bollinger Band, but we are still room to the upside in the RSI and also the MACD is starting to look flat. So um, no one's just basically buying right now. I'm waiting for a pullback towards the, the, of around 100 points and then you can start buying back to 3,700, 3,800. We will most likely see 3,000 uh, or 4,000 uh, probably at the end of the month or in mid of uh, January next year. So let's see the Dow Jones. And as you can see, we have pierced the all time highs. We have gone a little bit higher. At this point, we are trading at 30,172. And at this point, I also expect a pullback towards the 20 exponential. And then it is possible to basically enter this market again. Um, there is some room to the upside. We're at 61 in the RSI. But technical indicators here are starting to look basically uh, flat. The MACD, the RSI, the CCI are not looking as bullish as they have been. They are about to cross, um, for example, the MACD, the signal line, and is signaling that we are most likely going to see a, a minor pullback. Not a big pullback, but a minor pullback before we even go higher from here. So 30,500 is the next target for this market. That's roughly here. And we most likely will see that within the next week or two. So a little pullback towards um, the 20 exponential and then rally up towards this level. That is the name of this game. So let's look at the NASDAQ. We can see that the NASDAQ has also rallied. We are trading at 12,500 at this point. That is not. Uh, that is basically on the edge of being at uh, the all-time highs here. So, also here, I do definitely expect a pullback towards, um, well, at least these previous highs. So it may have a minor molecular pullback of probably 100 points, but it would be even better if you could have a pullback towards the 20 exponential or these previous highs, and that is 12,250 or, or to a 56, give or take. So a minor pullback towards this area is a buying opportunity. We are not going to see these massive moves. That is not going to happen. There is going to be some kind of stimulus within the next um, month or two, and uh, the market basically knows that, and that will just drive this market even higher. But a pullback is expected at this point. We are basically at the top of the bullish band. Stochastic is showing signs of weakness. Uh, we are way overbought in the RSI. So it's just a matter of time before this turns around and we'll head lower. So pullback, our buying opportunities. There's no reason to, uh, to invest in this market as it is at this point. So let's look at the tech stocks. And as you can see, well, nothing really happened today. Some of them fell a little bit. But otherwise, uh, nothing significant really happened in these big tech stocks. We can look at Netflix. Netflix found support at the, at the 20 um, 
uh, exponential moving average uh, roughly uh, 494 rallied again now we're trading in between this area this is a market that probably will go a little bit lower or just stay within this range for some time you can see that stochastic has turned around cci has turned around and it's only a matter of time before that macd will turn around so we will see this market go a little bit lower before we go higher um, and the lower it gets the better so the cheaper it basically gets so the very uh, bottom of this market is for 482 and that is right at the 150 moving average so um, uh, sorry microsoft we um, pull back a little bit we found support at the 50 um, moving average and we created this a little bit hammer here so that's a very bearish shine and you probably can see where this is going most of these tech stocks are showing signs of weakness and um, these are the stocks that are leading the nasdaq for instance so if they fall the nasdaq will fall and therefore i expect um quite a big pull not a big pullback but a pullback around uh, 200 points in the nasdaq that is very possible uh, for next week so we may see the um, microsoft fall towards the 100 moving average at 211 and probably to these lows at 208 before we rally again so the lower it gets the better i will be definitely the buyer here i am buyer at this point i will be um, buying even more when it gets lower to this level level so apple has found resistant here we can basically get this down to this level so 123 um, is um, the resistant level where apple will basically um, fall from and at this point we are targeting the 20 at 118 but the 50 should prove to be quite um, supportive of 117 and if we get to 114 i'll be all in we're uh, at 114 because every single time we have gotten down to this level it has rallied and it's just a matter of time before we take out these uh, highs here and go to the old time highs so technical, indica uh, technical indicators for for apple are looking dreadful at this point um i am i have sold all my stocks in apple because i know that we are going to have a pullback you see the bollinger band we are heading at least towards 118 uh, on monday and then we'll see basically how far this goes so look at amazon amazon has fallen today and found some resist support here at the 20 exponential so we're at 3163 at this point technical indicators for amazon are looking well fairly bad but this is a stock that even though it falls it rallies significantly straight away so it is one of the most um most bought and uh, sought after after stocks out there and every time it becomes cheap people just jump on the bandwagon and basically buy this so we'll most likely find um, some support here at the 20 moving average you can see the bullish average right at the edge but these technical indicators are looking fairly dreadful at this point so it may fall but it will only be a matter of days before we rally again the very bottom of this market will be the 150 moving average that is roughly around 3000 um, it will not go further than that otherwise we'll see a market that will go really really bearish in the coming months so let's look at tesla tesla is up uh, nearly one half a percent and we are stuck here at roughly 595 so 600 will most likely be difficult to break i think at this point we'll see a uh, quite big a big of a pullback in tesla stock uh, so the 20 exponential is here that's roughly 12 percent down that is possible for next week and the reason why i say that is because at the, the rsi is at 83.97 technical indicators are showing signs of exhaustion we are very overstretched in this stock and um, it is just a matter of time be, before we have another one of these major pullbacks but they are as actually buying opportunities we are rallying here and um, 20 should be supportive 40 should be and 50 definitely 
be supportive. So let's look at uh, Facebook. And Facebook is starting to look interesting again. We are getting um, close to the 20. We're also getting close to the 50 moving average. And when we get to these levels, that is the time to be uh, thinking about buying back into these stocks. But at this point, these technical, uh, technical indicators are looking dreadful. So it will probably be the end of next week, probably next Friday, where we'll see this market go down and then start to turn around again. So that is just um, the name of the game. And as you can see, all of these uh, tech companies are about to fall. Some of them quite uh, far and some of them not very far, but they are about to fall. And that means that we will see a pullback in the uh, NASDAQ in the coming week. Probably Monday, Tuesday, probably also on Wednesday. And then we'll have a turnaround at the end of next week. So we look at Google. Google is trading quite flat at this point, but also Google will most likely head towards the 20 uh, exponential, and that is roughly 2.6% down from where it is at the moment, and then you can start buying this again. We are in uptrend. The 20 exponential has been uh, significant um, support. So has the 100. If we basically get down there, then of course it is all hands on deck to buy this. So technical indicators for Google are starting to look quite negative and therefore do expect this market to fall. But that is basically a chance to buy this at a cheap. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and good weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you.